Baumgart with E-Trade Financial here with a market update for November. Stocks took a beating in the latter part of the month, briefly giving up all of the year's gains before rallying in the final days. The market is now at roughly the same spot it was this time last month, if not the beginning of the year. Which brings us to 2018 as a whole, a year that sits in stark contrast to the docile 12 months we experienced in 2017. Volatility is back, and as the bull market grows long in the tooth, there are five key themes we'll be watching closely. First off are tariffs. Many market observers would pin this year's volatility primarily on tariffs, which have also begun to take a bite out of corporate earnings. While their full impact is yet to be seen, it's clear that they are beginning to hurt certain pockets of the market. Second are rising interest rates. The Fed has raised interest rates three times this year and has signaled another increase in December, with more possibly in store for next year. The Fed's rate hikes are sometimes viewed as potential stumbling blocks to growth, but for investors, rising rates mean better yield opportunities. Third are politics. We now have a split Congress, which typically bodes well for Wall Street. We have yet to see whether it can pass any legislation when the new term begins. International equities are fourth, which have underperformed for much of the year amid a very uncertain Brexit. Friction between Italy and the EU, faltering economies in Latin America, and of course, trade disputes between China and the US. Valuations are compelling though, and could make a good entry point. Fifth is the flattening yield curve. That's a concern because an inverted yield curve has a historically foreshadowed recession. The curve has flattened considerably over the past year as the Fed has hiked short-term rates. A flatter curve may be the new normal, but it adds an element of uncertainty to an already volatile backdrop. Those are the big five. Despite the risks we're seeing, let's not forget that the economy is still humming, unemployment is at a 40-year low, and energy prices are moderated. So while the risks remain, the foundation for now remains strong. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next month.